for his wife. And they ended up finding her safe and sound. She really didn't fall off the cliff. So now they're they're both facing some jail time. In a quarter so mile, turn right onto Franklin Road. That situation would be worse. It's just Brilliant. absolutely yeah. ridiculous. I get the idea of that. Like, oh, maybe we could just, uh, hi like, hide away. We'll pretend you die, then we'll just leave and never be heard from. But eh, it's never going to really work, mm -hmm. unfortunately. At the next stop uh, sign, I'll turn right. Inspector right here in, uh, he's actually from Clarkston. Um, he was doing this home inspection in Oxford recently. Oh. And he was, yeah, you know, doing his job. He's potential buyers checked out the house. But the owner at of the, the stop home sign. just happened to Turn uh, right jump on Franklin their Road. child's nanny cam. And that's when they saw this home inspector doing something absolutely horrifying with one of uh, their child's toys, you guys. <laughs> he was pleasuring himself with a stuffed Elmo. In three quarters right. of a mile, turn left onto West Square that Lake Road. He, uh, put Elmo right back where it was found, and he was just charged with aggravated, indecent exposure and malicious destruction of the property. And the judge banned him from being alone inside any homes. You know, there's so many things you can say here, but I'm going to just... Uh, as one of my favorite announcers back when I was a kid, the voice of the Flyers, Gene Hart, would say, discretion has the better part of valor. Yes. Oh, my uh, God. And I don't use that, t I don't use that saying enough, <laughs> unfortunately. Yeah. You know, but, and... At the next light, had turn me. left. <laughs> what do you mean? That's the Twitter poll. <laughs> Elmo, yes, Bert, Ernie, or the Cookie Monster. Who are you pleasuring yourself with? <laughs> I'm saying, I went, I, I tried, I even talked myself into not saying something ridiculous and discretion, valor, uh, anything, yeah, they were like our opposite poles there. Uh, <laughs> this is a pretty cool story, I'm going to edit on this one, uh, Shaq did something absolutely amazing, he actually surprised a complete stranger and paid for this guy's engagement ring, which is so freaking awesome, Shaq was into sales, he was actually looking to buy At the light, turn left onto sales, West Square Lake Road. Guy salesperson about um, this engagement ring he had on layaway and Shaq kind of walked over to him and said you know what I'll pay it off for you I'll pay everything and um, it sounds like the guy at first was a little you know shy about everything didn't want to accept the offer but ultimately did agree to it and uh, just what an amazing situation and it sounds like this is obviously what we know Shaq does this kind of thing quite often it sounds like he just likes to to make people's day make people happy so I, I was pretty cool uh, Shaq's great I was kind of surprised and this is no reflection on the store but somebody like Shaq I figured have his own jeweler and he wouldn't even be shopping for his own earrings he oh. had them made for himself you know what I mean I he totally did, agree he said he does have a jewelry line at Zales oh, oh. Heather. All right, coming up next, uh, two mock drafts, and actually one of them has three kind of mocks for the Lions. We'll go over those, and I think they'll make you pretty happy. At least most of them will. 97 one. They add a little excitement to your sports watching experience by betting on all the action on FanDuel Sportsbook. There's a reason why FanDuel is America's number one sportsbook. The app is simple to use. They've got great odds in all different betting markets, unique, fun bet types like same game parlay and exclusive always on promotions such as enhanced odds boost and on the biggest events to get you more action out of every single game. Check out the app because like I mentioned, they've got player props, futures, live betting, anything you're looking for is a lot of fun to play around with. Right now, FanDuel is letting you place your first bet risk-free up to $1,000. Just place your first bet on anything and FanDuel will refund you $1,000 back in site credit if you don't win. Just place any bet you want. If you win, you keep the cash. If you lose, you're going to get your entire bet up to $1,000 back in site credit. If you've never tried FanDuel Sportsbook, what are you waiting for? Download the Sportsbook, the FanDuel Sportsbook app to get started. And be sure to sign up with promo code Jansen so they know I sent you. That's FanDuel Sportsbook, promo code Jansen. FanDuel Sportsbook is the official book for that except for the ticket. Must be 21 or over present Michigan. First online real money wage only. Site credit is not withdrawal and expires in 14 days. Restrictions apply. See FanDuel Sportsbook. Details. Get the promise. 
accident blocking the right shoulder along 94 eastbound entrance ramp at Connor. Also, traffic still heavy, 75 southbound near 12 mile and northbound approaching 696. Klipsch Premium Audio, the combination of thoughtful design, constant innovation, and premium materials creates the ultimate listening experience. Your music has been so good. Continue on to East Square Lake Road. Klipsch Keepers of the Sound. I'm Michelle Pena with traffic. The Detroit Red Wings play the Nashville Predators.
Uh, still ahead in the program. Uh, if you missed it before, uh, we're going to replay our interview with uh, baseball legend Dave Parker. That's right. That's In half a mile, by the way, my turn right onto Ivy Glen Circle. Odyssey. Uh, download the Odyssey app and listen to 97 on the ticket. That's Odyssey, A-U-D-A-C-Y. And of course, when you download it, listen to all of our shows, the rewind function, the stuff that you missed on any of our programs, and uh, listen while you... Uh, Take a walk around, run, whatever, in your car, wherever you want to hear all that great stuff. The content on 97 on the ticket. Now, uh, the NFL draft is three weeks from today. Mm -hmm. Three weeks from today is the National Football League draft in Cleveland, Ohio. And today we have uh, two mock drafts have been released, two different ones. Um, we'll start with Dave Burkett, our buddy from the Three Points. Mm -hmm. And what he did was, he did his mock of the first six picks, and then with pick seven, where of course, as you know, the Lions are, he has three trade scenarios that might happen, and if they would happen, who the Lions would pick, and who the Lions would acquire uh, for trading down. Because most Turn people, right onto Ivy Glen uh, Circle, people, then the destination is on your left. Yes. So here we go. His uh, top six, uh, Jacksonville, Trevor Lawrence, uh, Zach Wilson in the Jets, Mac Jones to San Francisco, Trey Lance to Atlanta, mm -hmm. Penny Sewell to Cincinnati, Kyle Pitts to Miami. So here are his three scenarios for the Lions at seven, trading down. Uh, the Lions would trade the seventh pick. The destination the is on your left. The ninth pick. 11 and one Ivy Glen Circle. Pick, which is Arrived. number 71, which would be... That's value. You're getting value. It's only yes. you're dropping two slots. Uh, and out of that scenario, the Broncos take Justin Fields. They get their quarterback. The Panthers take Jamar Chase. And the Lions take Jalen Waddle from Alabama. Mm -hmm. So, you know, that makes, that makes sense. You get a third-round pick. The, quest, the biggest question you have is, are you passing up something possibly better than what you're getting as far as is the third pick you're getting – going to be better than uh, Jamar Chase? Well, third and number nine, whoever you're going to take oh, at number right, nine. So right, if, exactly. you're, so if you're taking Jalen Waddle right, and so a third pick, is that as good as 